This is the Justice and Kindness Daily Scripture Reading for September 3rd. New American Standard Version. Go to glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. 1 Samuel chapter 27. Then David said to himself, Now I will perish one day by the hand of Saul. There is nothing better for me than to escape into the land of the Philistines. Saul then will despair of searching for me any more in the territory of Israel, and I will escape from his hand. So David arose and crossed over, he and the six hundred men who were with him, to Achish, the son of Maok, king of Gath. And David lived with Achish at Gath, he and his men, each with his household, even David with his two wives, Ahinoam the Jezreelitess, and Abigail the Carmelitess, Nabal's widow. Now it was told Saul that David had fled to Gath, so he no longer searched for him. Then David said to Achish, If now I have found favor in your sight, let them give me a place in one of the cities in the country, that I may live there. For why should your servant live in the royal city with you? So Achish gave him Ziklag that day. Therefore Ziklag has belonged to the kings of Judah to this day. The number of the days that David lived in the country of the Philistines was a year and four months. Now David and his men went up and raided the Jeshurites and the Gerzites and the Amalekites, for they were the inhabitants of the land from ancient times, as you come to Shur, even as far as the land of Egypt. David attacked the land and did not leave a man or a woman alive, and he took away the sheep, the cattle, the donkeys, the camels, and the clothing. Then he returned and came to Achish. Now Achish said, Where have you made a raid today? And David said, against the Negev of Judah, and against the Negev of the Jeremielites, and against the Negev of the Kenites. David did not leave a man or a woman alive to bring to Gath, saying, Otherwise they will tell about us, saying, So has David done, and so has been his practice all the time he has lived in the country of the Philistines. So Achish believed David, saying, He has surely made himself odious among his people Israel. Therefore he will become my servant forever. 1 Corinthians chapter 8 Now concerning things sacrificed to idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge makes arrogant, but love edifies. If anyone supposes that he knows anything, he is not yet known as he ought to know. But if anyone loves God, he is known by him. Therefore, concerning the eating of things sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no such thing as an idol in the world and that there is no God but one. For even if there are so-called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, as indeed there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom are all things, and we exist for him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we exist through him. However, not all men have this knowledge, but some, being accustomed to the idol until now, eat food as if it were sacrificed to an idol, and their conscience, being weak, is defiled. But food will not commend us to God. We are neither the worse if we do not eat, nor the better if we do eat. But take care that this liberty of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. For if someone sees you, who have knowledge, dining in an idol's temple, will not his conscience, if he is weak, be strengthened to eat things sacrificed to idols? For through your knowledge, he who is weak is ruined, the brother for whose sake Christ died. And so, by sinning against the brethren and wounding their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to stumble, I will never eat meat again, so that I will not cause my brother to stumble. Ezekiel chapter 6 And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward the mountains of Israel, and prophesy against them, and say, Mountains of Israel, listen to the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains, the hills, the ravines, and the valleys, Behold, I myself am going to bring a sword on you, and I will destroy your high places. So your altars will become desolate, and your incense altars will be smashed, and I will make your slain fall in front of your idols." I will also lay the dead bodies of the sons of Israel in front of their idols, and I will scatter your bones around your altars. 
in all your dwellings, cities will become waste and the high places will be desolate, that your altars may become waste and desolate. Your idols may be broken and brought to an end. Your incense altars may be cut down and your works may be blotted out. The slain will fall among you and you will know that I am the Lord. However, I will leave a remnant for you will have those who escape the sword among the nations when you are scattered among the countries. Then those of you who escape will remember me among the nations to which they will be carried captive. How I have been hurt by their adulterous hearts which they turned away from me, and by their eyes which played the harlot after their idols. And they will loathe themselves in their own sight for the evils which they have committed for all their abominations. Then they will know that I am the Lord. I have not said in vain that I would inflict this disaster on them. Thus says the Lord God, Clap your hand, stamp your foot, and say, Alas, because of all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, which will fall by the sword, famine, and plague. He who is far off will die by the plague, and he who is near will fall by the sword, and he who remains and is besieged will die by the famine. Thus will I spend my wrath on them. Then you will know that I am the Lord, when their slain are among their idols, around their altars, on every high hill, on all the tops of the mountains, under every green tree, and under every leafy oak, the places where they offered soothing aroma to all their idols. So throughout all their habitations I will stretch out my hand against them and make the land more desolate and waste than the wilderness toward Dibla. Thus they will know that I am the Lord. Psalm 44 For the choir director, a maskil of the sons of Korah. O God, we have heard with our ears, our fathers have told us the work that you did in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations. Then you planted them. You afflicted the peoples. Then you spread them abroad. For by their own sword they did not possess the land, and their own arm did not save them. But your right hand and your arm in the light of your presence for you have favored them. You are my king, O God. Command victories for Jacob. Through you we will push back our adversaries. Through your name we will trample down those who rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, nor will my sword save me. But you have saved us from our adversaries, and you have put to shame those who hate us. In God we have boasted all day long, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Selah. Yet you have rejected us and brought us to dishonor, and do not go out with our armies. You cause us to turn back from the adversary, and those who hate us have taken spoil for themselves. You give us as sheep to be eaten, and have scattered us among the nations. You sell your people cheaply, and have not profited by their sale. You make us a reproach to our neighbors, a scoffing, and a derision to those around us. You make us a byword among the nations, a laughingstock among the peoples. All day long my dishonor is before me, and my humiliation has overwhelmed me, because of the voice of him who reproaches and reviles, because of the presence of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you, and we have not dealt falsely with your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, and our steps have not deviated from your way. Yet you have crushed us in a place of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we had not forgotten the name of our God or extended our hands to a strange God, would not God find this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. But for your sake we are killed all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Arouse yourself. Why do you sleep, O Lord? Awake. Do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our affliction and our oppression? For our soul has sunk down into the dust. Our body cleaves to the earth. Rise up, be our help, and redeem us for the sake of your loving kindness. The Justice and Kindness Daily Reading and Daily Devotional are a service to all those who seek to know God more fully and to have their mind renewed for Christ's sake. To help us continue this effort, please like and subscribe, and please consider a one-time or monthly gift. Go to glow 
glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. That's glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness, all one word.